it's now time for a set change. So we're gonna change the inside of the pump, we're gonna change the insulin on the outside, and also the bit that connects to my body. So, Martha, open up the bag. What have we got inside? Something. Something. That. The setup. That. The reservoir. The set. We use the quick set. That's it. It works for quick. me. Different sets work for different people. And we have our insulin, which is never happy. Right. Open it up. There you go. Where's all the rubbish go? Into there. one pile, doesn't it? Yeah. What else needs opening? That. And while she's doing that, I'll disconnect the old one. So that's come out of there, we'll take that outside, out of the pump. So now we are pumped without that. Where does that go? Rubbish, yeah. Right, now I have to go through the menus. So I'll come a little bit closer, because this is the first time. We'll look at it on the screen. So, we go across to the menu. That's the key to unlock. So, I'll bring it a little bit closer and we'll have a look and see what we have to do with the menu. This is the first time I've done a set change on this pump, so we'll give it a go. Right, so, menu. We've got to unlock, we talked about before the screen, the locking up. So we've got to press the top arrow to unlock it. That changes every time, so you can't just guess. Um, doo -doo. It will be down in reservoir and tubing. It used to be called reservoir and set, it's now reservoir and tubing. So it's more descriptive. New reservoir, which it is. <coughs> remove infusing set from body, remove reservoir from pump. Both done. So we can hit rewind. And while that's happening, there's a little picture. You used to be able to see on the outside of the old one. Can you see inside? Maybe not. There's a little plunger in there that's slowly drawing back. While it's doing that, we'll fill up the reservoir with insulin. So I'll just plonk that down there. So we've pulled it back. We'll plonk that on there. Do you want to do that? Quite tricky to go on with little fingers. There we go. That's it. Right, let's push it down. And then we turn it the right way up so that the insulin's at the bottom of the vial. And we pull it down slowly. Slowly, slowly fill it up. As I said before, I use about somewhere between 20, 20 to 25 units a day. So I don't need to fill the reservoir. So last me three days. I normally get to about 100 units when I'm filling, because that's all I need and don't want to waste too much. We push it back up, we have a quick click around for bubbles. So there's always bubbles. And then the way I do it, holding it in, I just tilt it that way. Make sure there's no bubbles floating around on the inside, which there isn't. Let's turn it over, take it out. Oh. Take that off there, pull that off there. That bit goes in our sharp spin. In. That way, that one goes that way. That goes back in the box. Where's the box? Put it in the box, back in the back. There we go. Next, we connect the reservoir, which we just filled, to the set. You do that. And then you twist it to lock it. Yep, so that's all set in. We now need to put this into the pump. So, next step with the pump. It will give me a helpful message, I think. What's it say? Load reservoir. So we click the button to confirm. Oh, need to unlock it as well. Fill reservoir, which we've done. Connect tubing to reservoir. Do not connect to the body, which we haven't done. Next. Place reservoir into the pump, which we've just done. Click next. Select load and hold until complete. Do not connect to the body. So we hold it. And well, the plunger is now going up to the level where the insulin was. There we go. Load reservoir. Do not connect to body. Next. Fill tubing, do not connect to body. Keeps telling me, don't connect it to body. I'm getting the hint, right? So we click on fill. 
And while it's filling, what happens to the insulin, Martha? Um, some of it drops. Some of it drops. Where does the insulin go? Um, down up this long tube that out there. That's exactly it. So let's keep it pressed down. You tell me when it's you see bubble when you see the insulin coming out the top. Down. Down. So we got a drop at the end of the tube, and it will probably say that as well. Three drops. Three drops was at that time. Right, next. Insert infusion set to body. So this is the bit with the big needle. Not very big needle. Right, so where's... Do we put it down first? No, we put it in as it is. I hold it on, what do you do? Then take off these. Take off the sticky adhesives. And the rubbish pile. They go in the rubbish pile. You've got to get the second one off. Every time. Yeah. So then what do we do? And we pull this down. Yeah. And then we spin this. Yeah. A little bit. Take it off so then there'll be a needle and this bit will be off. That one will be off. Show you the needle inside. In fact, if we lift it up, you can see, hopefully see the length of the needle there. And inside there's the part of the tubing that's left inside the body. So, we will now, good point now, let go of the pump, put it in your pocket, makes it easier. So we spin around, we find somewhere to put it on the body. For me, I like going around the back. Uh, somewhere not been recently. So we found somewhere to put it, let's press the buttons. In it goes, take it off. No pain at all on that one. I'll hold it in. Yeah. I'll just push the tape down. So, what we do is um, take off that. And then you show, the, show the camera. You take off that and then you fold it in so nobody gets hurt. So no one gets hurt because the sharp's now inside there. That's all. All done there. So they'll now be... Go back onto the menu. Insert. Select fill when connected. And then you choose the amount of insulin you fill the little cannula with. The bit that goes into your body, that's the cannula, and you need to fill that with insulin so it's not filled with air, so you're not missing anything out. You, different people use different amounts. I use 0.2 units, just because that works for me. So, I'll select the amount, click fill now, which it's doing. If I wanted to stop, I could click on stop filling. Do you need to take your phone? We do need to take the other one off. Hold on, slow down. So that's back to the normal screen. I'm guessing Smart Girl's going to kick in shortly. We'll wait and see on that one. Right, so now what do we do with the old one? And we take it off. Take it off. So just peel here on this triangle bit. Yeah. And then peel it. It's off. Sometime. And then you see it started, it starts off all sharp, then it goes plastic. Yeah, let's have a look at have a look at that in a second, but you'll see the old where the set was. Give it a quick wipe away. Leave a small mark, but they disappear over time. And this little bit of here, this is the filament. Don't know how well you can see it on the camera. That's the bit that's left inside your body. So that was inside the metal of the sharp before we put it in our body. So that's it, all done. Rubbish goes wherever it needs to go. In this pile, beautiful pile. Beautiful pile, sharps go in the sharp pile. Look, put that in the shouts pile as well, and then we're done. Right, say bye, Martha. See ya. And cut.